Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Stevie J893, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be talking iPhoto audio video sync issues. So let's get started. All right, so if you're like me, you probably have a camcorder that you use to make your primary videos on, but then you also have iPhoto on your uh, MacBook if you have one. And for me, um, there are a couple of videos that I had where I couldn't actually use my camcorder. For instance, I was doing a review of the battery pack, so obviously I wouldn't be able to use my camcorder to record that. So what I did was I used iPhoto to record the video. And what happened is after I finished, I noticed that during playback, the audio and the video would not sync together. So I went through the whole process of detaching the audio and trying to line it up. It just it, it became too time consuming and you know cutting different parts of audio out you end up cutting too much so I began to think that there was something wrong with either iPhoto or my computer I mean I've, I've only had this computer this is the October 2011 edition of the MacBook Pro that I have and so I was thinking that something was wrong with it so after doing a little bit of research I found that it's a real simple fix and this process is called resetting the PRAM or PRAM and basically what you're gonna do yeah, if you want to, if you're having this issue and you want to fix it, you might want to wait until the end of the video. Uh, let me just say that first. But basically, what you want to do is you want to completely power down your computer, shut it off, and then at that time, what you're going to do is you're going to press Option, you're going to press Command, the letters P and R, and at the same time, you're holding all four of those buttons down. You're going to power the computer on. So you're going to need pretty much all your fingers to do this. Um, and you're going to hold, continue to hold all four of those buttons down until you hear that tone that the MacBook Pro makes when it powers up that ding. You know, once you hear that, you can let it go. Um, and I was thinking that I was going to have to actually reshoot that video over. But what happened is as soon as I did this step, again, I, I pressed Option, Command, the letters P and R. And once I did that, I actually replayed the video and everything matched right back up. So again, if you're having this problem, this is a real simple fix that you can do to fix it. So you can get back to doing what you do best, and that's recording videos. Alright, so if this has been a help to you, and I hope it has, uh, please let me know by leaving comments in the below section. Uh, hit that like button, and please do subscribe. Thanks. Peace.